This conference will now be recorded. Hello all, and uh, once again, welcome to bisolutions.com. My name is Amit, and today I'm going to show you Groovy example number second. In this example, I show you how do you add a member on the fly to any dimension. In today's example, I have, I'm going to show you how do you add a new employee on the fly. And this is a simple and tiny example. And I show you practically how this whole Groovy script works. So this is going to be done in three steps. First, I have a employee dimension. Under this employee dimension, I created a member uh, where the property has set it as a dynamic children enable. So go to dimension and check the employee. So the employee dimension and limit myself to workforce planning queue and there's an employee dimension. I created a member under employee dimension called others and this others I might mark this as enable for dynamic children. Make sure this option is set to enable. So after this I'm going to create variables uh, one variable of member type for the parent because i'm going to add a child within the employee dimension under the parent others and another variable i create for employee name so the variable creation fairly straightforward go to rules i did it already for you under variables i'm going to create runtime prompt variable under variable designer tab uh, go to workforce planning variable there you see i created two variable two variables one for employee the employee variable is of member type because i'm going to add a child under the employee so employee variable type should be member type name uh, the type is tagged as a member and other option could be uh, integer string as space and other types but in this example i'm going to create member members type because i'm going to create multiple member under employees then there's another variable i created called employee so this is a string variable this string variable is going to hold employee name so employee name is a string variable string as number and what message you like to display over here you can give a text message any text message which you want to be appeared are given over here text message called employee name so you have got two variables now one is employee of member type and employee name of string as number type okay now i'm going to write a new rule so let's create a rule to add a employee on the fly so create new rule right click i give name over here call add new i already have a member call new employee i would add called add employee so i want to input the value from the user it's going to be runtime prompt so change the script type as a groovy script first because i want employee name to be inputted by the user it's a runtime prompt therefore i define runtime prompt definition so runtime prompt The variable name you put under curly braces. So first variable is of employee name of integer of a string as integer type. And second variable I declare as an employee, which is of object type. Then I'm going to create a dimension object. And you can give any name. Dimension object, I'm going to give a name over here called employee, new employee dimension and this is going to refer to my operation dot application dot get dimension because i'm going to add this new employee with an employee dimension so you pass an argument at the name of the dimension which is employee in my case 
I'm going to create a member within a given parent. So you need to create another member object for a parent type. So I would name it as a parent employee because this is variable. So I prefer to use var variable parent employee. And this is going to refer to my runtime prompt. My runtime prompt of employee type, the one which we created over here. Employee of member type. So I created a runtime prompt of employee.member. And now I'm going to create a employee name. I create another object called VAR employee name because this is going to be created under my parent employee. So define a parent object dot add dynamic dynamic child and the argument pass your uh, member name the new employee to be created so i get runtime prompt dot employee name this is my variable runtime prompt entire employee name it is an integer string integer type let's validate this save and validate So because runtime from employee name is a user input, it is asking me the value of the employee. I will give a test employee. Because I want uh, the new member to be created within others. Therefore, you can give a default value 